Have you ever been driving down the highway, admiring the incredible thunder and power of those big V8 semi-truck engines, and wondered why the well-known American manufacturers seem to be stopping production of them? Fasten your seatbelts and join us as we reveal the causes of the surprising move away from V8 powerhouses. Picture yourself speeding down the open road in the 1960s when semi-trucks like the venerable Mac E9, Peterbilt 359, Kenworth W900, Freightliner LUFT, and International Transtar 430 were graced with the power and appeal of V8 engines. During that time, the powerful Cat 3408 V8, which was produced in 1970s, was unmatched and remained so until it was discontinued in 1985. The Cat 3408's continued success in marine vessels, power generating, and construction, despite being out of style, is a monument to its enduring prowess. In the present era, there has been a significant change in the terrain of semi-truck engines. The industry has embraced inline-six engines efficiency, with manufacturers pointing out that the engine's longer strokes result in better torque output. Powerhouses like the Detroit DD-16 and Cummins X-15, which have remarkable stats of up to 2050 pounds per foot and 605 horsepower, are the result of this technical advance. With the advancement of modern inline-six engines, V8s are no longer necessary in the American trucking industry, especially in light of the 80,000-pound government weight restrictions. On the other hand, European truck manufacturer Scania still makes V8 engines that can achieve 770 horsepower and 2730 pounds per foot of torque, which is a response to the different requirements of nations where weight limits are higher than 200,000 pounds. Because of their longer stroke and higher torque output, inline-six engines have become the industry leaders and are changing the way that the industry thinks about efficiency. These engines are revolutionary for long-distance applications where fuel consumption is crucial since they run at lower RPMs while still delivering optimal performance and significant fuel efficiency gains. The economic benefit for trucking firms is demonstrated by decreased operating costs because the inline six not only uses less gasoline but also has less expensive service and maintenance expenditures. The inline six's streamlined design reduces downtime and ensures a more economical operation by making it easier to access vital engine parts, such as injectors and camshafts. On the other hand, V8 engines are more expensive to buy initially and require more frequent maintenance due to their complexity and more parts. With its longer and thinner design, the inline-6's streamlined profile makes it easier to integrate into the truck chassis, maximize available space, and give priority to simplicity of installation and maintenance. A combination of growing environmental concerns and stricter emissions restrictions prompted the U.S. to move away from V8 semi-truck engines. Due to the need to adhere to strict regulations, manufacturers shifted their attention to inline six engines, which provided better fuel efficiency and emission control systems. The well-known engine manufacturer Caterpillar is a prime example of this change. In 2010, it stopped producing semi-truck engines for use on highways and instead focused on producing industrial diesel engines for less regulated industries like mining, construction, and agriculture. A plethora of alternative alternatives, such as gas trucks, electric trucks, hybrids, and cars fueled by hydrogen, have also emerged in response to the rising pollution limits. While they claim lower or no TO2 emissions while operating, their manufacture can result in much higher emissions. The irony appears to be missed by politicians and nations. Blame it on the unavoidable grip of emission rules, a desire for higher fuel efficiency, economic considerations, and the understanding that the robust V8 might be stronger than needed due to the well-established proficiency of inline-six engines. These six-cylinder powerhouses have been established as the preferred choice in the trucking sector, thanks to their extensive use, quick availability of components, and proven performance in long-haul transportation. But don't think the V8s have departed forever. Even after manufacture has ceased, the roar of V8 semi-trucks can still be heard on American highways. A reminder that in the ever-changing business of trucking, old traditions die hard. As the future of trucking advances, the V8 engine's path takes an unexpected turn. What do you think the future holds for these mighty machines?